Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys what are the best settings to improvise your performance, get better FPS and fix lags in the new Hogwarts Legacy. This game was dropped recently, so I decided to make an FPS guide. Once again, this game has currently a lot of bugs going on, so I might be updating the FPS guide sooner in the future, so make sure to be subscribed to never miss an update. Also, leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one are the essential windows settings and for that you definitely need to search for settings. Once you are here, search for game mode and then go to turn on game mode. Make sure that this is enabled, it will automatically disable apps and other services running in the background to maximize the performance when you're playing the games. Right beneath that you will find the graphics settings, you have to open this thing up and then click on change default graphics settings and make sure to enable both of these options. Optimize for Windows games is also very very necessary if you're playing Hogwarts Legacy. Go back to the graphics settings and over here you have to add the download location or the file directory of your Hogwarts Legacy. Right over here in the downloads folder, select hogwartslegacy.exe, click on add and it will be added into your list. Go to options and click on high performance and then save it over here. Now go back to browse, go to Phoenix, binaries, Win64 and also add Hogwarts Legacy over here. Click on high performance and then save it. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings and let's move to step number two, that is system configuration. Simply search for system configuration on your windows and then this simple screen will pop right in front of you. Go to the boot section, go to advanced boot section, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will enhance your booting and also help your PC to improve FPS in the long run. Simply click on OK, click on Apply and then close System. Now step number 3 is de-animating windows. This is a very important step because this will optimize your windows drastically. For that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then once you are here click on adjust for best performance, click on smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. Once you are done with both of these options, you will see your windows has been de-animated completely and this will save a lot of memory as well as optimize your windows for the best performance. Step number four is creating a restore point and this is really simple. Simply search for create a restore point over here and then in the system protection go to local disk C or any drive which says system. Click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on ok, click on create, name it Hogwarts Legacy, something along those lines and then click on create. This is a really important step and you should never skip this. In case anything wrong happens to your computer, you will always restore it back to where it was without any data or file loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Let's move to step number 5 that is the Hogwarts Legacy FPS pack. You can download it from the link in the description below and once you've downloaded and extracted this thing up, you will find in PC optimization, RAM optimization, Steam launch options, Windows optimization as well as power plan and program. Let's move to the first folder, in here you will find CPU priority. Now once again if you use an AMD CPU, run the AMD. If you run the Intel CPU, simply open it and double click and run the Intel priority. Once you're done with that, you have to run the increase power efficiency dot registry. Once again, this will improvise the power efficiency of your computer. To run it, you can simply double click to run it or right click, go to show more options and click on merge. Now go back in the FPS pack and open the second folder. So in this folder, I have left a lot of RAM presets and you can double click to use any of them. To know what RAM you're using, you can simply search for system information over here and then look for the installed physical memory. For me, it is 16 GB, so you have to run the 16 GB RAM registry. Once again, it can be different for you, so you can choose anything from the preset. Also, I have left a reset to default registry right over here in case you do not find this helpful. Now go to the third folder which is the Steam launch options and once again you will find in this simple line of code. You have to copy it, go and open up your Steam, simply right click, go to properties and then paste this launch option right over here and that will prioritize your game to be running on the best 
quality possible fourth one is the windows optimization and once again i have left two files and two registries over here first one will boost your pc's responsiveness it will turn off unnecessary services and allow your pc to respond much faster and second one is disable unnecessary services this will temporarily disable all of the unnecessary and unwanted services that you do not use so run both of them and then over here you will find the cachecleaner.bat simply right click and run this as administrator this will basically delete all of the unnecessary and unwanted files on your computer this will allow your pc to clean up your space this will go on for a while and remove all of the unnecessary applications do not worry this is completely safe and it won't harm your pc in any case once it is done, you have to simply run the same for the FPS bad. It will disable most of the unnecessary things on your computer. So do the same for that as well. And last is the power plans and programs over here. I have left MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once this window opens up, you are looking for your graphics card over here. Simply click on the right side and make sure that it is set to high. Then close it and now open the ultimate power plan.txt. In here you will find this string of code. You have to simply control C to copy it or simply right click and copy it from here. Go and open CMD, run it as administrator. Once you are over here, you have to simply control V to paste it and then press enter this will add a power plant on your computer i have already added it you have to go to control panel and then simply search for power options once you're in power options you will see ultimate performance plan over here if not you have to click on show additional plans and it should be somewhere there you have to select ultimate performance plan and this will optimize your computer to use the maximum capacity of all of your hardware to get maximum performance when you're playing the games once again if you're using a laptop i would still prefer you guys to go with balanced because it will drain your battery much much faster also reduce your battery life now once you're done with all of these folders you can close the fps pack and that should optimize your pc much much better now let's move to the last step that is the best in-game settings all right so once you are in your hogwarts legacy simply right click on your mouse and then you will be right in the display options first things first you are looking for over here is the window mode make sure to keep it windowed full screen for some reason we do not have a exclusive full screen for this game but anyways go with window node full screen select your monitor which is your primary monitor whichever you want to play on and then if you have any upscale type enabled over here you won't be able to edit both of these things over here so i highly recommend you guys to use nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia gpu or go with amd fsr2 both of them works absolutely fine and you have to select which one you want to use over here at the first place then we have an upscaling mode and over here you can go with quality or balanced if you have a computer with a decent graphics card i had recommend you guys to go with dlss quality but if you have a super super low end pc go with performance balanced or ultra performance whatever works best for you then under the upscale sharpness keep it to one what this upscale modes does basically is it renders your game from a lower resolution to your higher resolution right now as you can see my game is running at a 1080p resolution but it is rendering the game at 1280 by 720 that is the 67th percent now the game is actually running on 1280 by 720 but this is using an upscaling technology to upscale the resolution so it appears to look 1080 and this will give you fps boost so i highly recommend you guys to use any upscale type over here now coming down to the nvidia reflex low latency you can choose on or on plus boost whatever works best for you for vsync i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off frame rate you have to keep it to your monitor's base resolution then scroll down field of view i like to keep it a little bit wider for the motion blur i highly recommend you guys to keep it off it is a very serious fps killer depth of field enable it gives you a nice cinematic look and both of these options off as they are not really really beneficial but they impact on your fps now scroll down to the graphics option over here and i would recommend you guys to use the custom settings over here for fx quality and material quality you can go with medium or high ultra is not 
very necessary over here for fog quality and sky quality these are both volumetric fog and volumetric lighting and both of them has a super heavy effect on your fps so i had recommend you guys to keep it low for the foliage quality go with high go for the post processing quality keep it to low because uh, it will be an fps killer and you do not really need those lens flare or motion blur over here so just keep it low shadow quality once again this game uses unreal engine 5 and without shadows the game will look potato so i recommend you guys to go with medium or high shadow quality right underneath the texture quality so if you have a good graphics card with at least 4 gb vram i recommend you guys to go with the high texture quality and then for the view distance quality you can go with high or medium as um, both of these things require your gpu vram once again also for the population quality you can go somewhere between high and medium and that will give you the best fps possible for ray tracing and reflections i recommend you guys to turn this thing off if you are using a low end or a high end pc the game looks absolutely beautiful even without the ray tracing but if you want a video on ray tracing and reflections kindly leave a comment down in the comment section below and i will make a separate dedicated video for the ray tracing in this game so guys i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another brand new video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out